내가 The countdown starts now. From New Orleans, Jess Blocks from Bourbon Street. The Lakers taking on the Pelicans. For Los Angeles, they'll face a tough battle against an equally hungry team to improve their record. But this could be the game that sparks them into a higher echelon. Pelicans, Lakers is next, right after this. Put me on top, city on lock, they like when he gon' drop. We ain't had enough, speaking down, but they know who coming up. And I'm still on my way. But the top don't look too far for me. Never caught off, not one too far for me. Never caught off, not one day. Oh, but I'm still on my way. Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. With Brett Berry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. The two Lakers stars on the four, LeBron at the three, and Davis at the five. Then there's Slim, then there's Jared Vanderbilt, and it's Reeves in at the two. And for the Pelicans, Sharing the wing spots, it's Jones and Ingram. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Callan Junis. And it's McCollum in at the point. Now it's New Year's Eve, Greg. Uh, do you still stay up for the countdown? Well, I, I try. It gets harder every year, but we're, we're still hanging in, bringing in the new year. I, I'm not quite the night owl like you are, my friend. <laughs> So the Pelicans win the tip. Let's it go with a three. The putback, it's good on the putback. It's so hard to move a mountain, trust me. Major damage on the boards being done by Valanciunas. Reeves the pass to Slim, and he drives in, and a missed late. And here are the Pelicans. And a wide open look for McCollum. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. CJ just so smooth and is a marksman from three. Reeves the pass to Slim, and there it is for him. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag, and, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Man, he's got that touch working tonight, shooting the ball very well to start this one. Green by James. Down low, and James throws it down. And how fast was LeBron James off the roll there to the rim? And now, just over a minute played here in the first. And there's the pass to Allen Jones. Jones kicks to Ingram. 
Outside, Jones. Shot clock at five. And here's McCollum for three. It's hauled in by LeBron. The Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Pass to Slim. Davis with a screen on McCollum. And Davis throws it down. Great work by the team there to find AD. They make eye contact, and the rest of that is history. New Orleans gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. McCollum with the bounce pass. Ingram against LeBron, and it's Ingram missing. Last outing for the New Orleans Pelicans. It was a loss to the Jazz. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there, and I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. Now you can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. Here's Jones after the basket by the Lakers. Valanciunas dishes to McCollum from the arc. Nailed from three-point land. McCollum's got eight. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Here is Slim. He is guarded by McCollum. And even though he didn't get a piece of that shot, you love the pressure he puts on the shooter. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. This Pelican front office has done a great job, Brent, finding some diamonds in the rough, players that have now helped. Think about it, Kevin. They grabbed Jose Alvarado and Najee Marshall, both undrafted players. And those guys are key rotation pieces to change the tempo of any game. Herb Jones, a great steal in the second round, defensively comes in, creates havoc. I mean, a lot of really impressive finds for this front office. Here's Ingram following the basket by LeBron James. Alan Junis finds McCollum. On the wing, Jones. Offline with his three. For Los Angeles, they've gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Slim passes to Vanderbilt. Here's Slim. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Pass to Ingram. That's in, coming off the assist from McCollum. Body control from the slender Brandon Ingram out there. Nice work finishing through contact. James outside. Passes it to Slim. Davis with a screen on McCollum. Loads it up for Davis. Throws down the alley and slam. And the definition of teamwork right there on that alley -oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Now here's Jones. Hasn't made one yet. And Davis pulls it down. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Vanderbilt, a screen on Jones. Here's Slim. The shot is good. It's his second bucket in five tries. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Pelicans. Let's take a look at the numbers for him. And he has become a much bigger part of their offense this month. His usage rate has gone through the roof. They're going to him more and more, and boy, has he responded. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Trailing by two, kicks it to Jones. To the inside, and it's McCollum in the corner. And he's good on the three ball. McCollum's got 11 points. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Slam, good. 
And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. McCollum gets to Valanciunas. And here's Ingram from the arc. Reeves with the rebound. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Ingram passes to Jones. Off target at the rim. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Ingram outside. And the pass to Jones. From outside the arc, that's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Here is Slim. Eight points for him. Screen by James. Shot on the wing. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. The Lakers beat them last time when these two teams met in Los Angeles. Yeah, tough game on the road. The guys you're defending, obviously comfortable shooting in their own building. You've got to find a way to break their rhythm. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. The Lakers in the lead. Outside, James. Vanderbilt the pass to Slim. It's good. That basket, he's now five for nine. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling down. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Attention fans, now on the court. Trey Murphy's checked in for Williamson. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Hachimura, he's checked in for LeBron. Pelicans trailed by four. Now here's McCullough. He's got 11. To the paint. Trying to find Valanciunas. Gets it to him. Another shot. Davis with some nice D. Valanciunas has gone one of three on the night. Here is Slim. He's got 10. Pass to Vanderbilt. Outside, Davis. Out to the right wing. Here is Slim. Passes it to Davis. And they double up Davis. No good that time. And remember that 2023 dunk contest? Trey Murphy made a strong showing going to the finals. Yeah, I love that he just got out there on that stage and showed what he could do. Kind of agility from a guy at his size with that kind of length, that functional coordination. Great to see him compete. There's Vanderbilt following the basket by C.J. McCollum. Hachimura kicks to Vanderbilt. Here is Slim. He's guarded by McCollum. Here's Slim. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. So for the Pelicans, Nancy's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Daniels comes in for Herbert Jones. And Hawkins subbed in for McCullough. The Lakers also making some changes. Christian Wood comes in for Vanderbilt. And Vincent subbed in for Austin Reed. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Hachimura the pass to Slim. Wood a screen on Hawkins. Here is Slim. He's covered by Hawkins. Pelicans trail by five. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. We talk a lot about confidence, and Larry Nance Jr., I believe, has a quiet confidence about the way he goes about his business. 
Hachimura with a screen on Hawk. And the dunk by Hachimura. And Rui getting up and getting after it on the lob. Pelican shooting 43% since taking the floor today. Hawkins passes to Ingram. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do. And right at the top is guard that guy. To the middle. Here's Slim. And trying to free himself up. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot. But he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup. But that's exactly what you need to do. New Orleans making a switch here. Lewis is checked in. All free throws good from Slim. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Pass to Daniels. Inside. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got six rebounds now in the game. Vincent the pass to Slim. Back to Vincent. Here's Davis. Covered by Nance. The jump hook in deep. Davis drops it in. And that's 10 points for Anthony Davis. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. And it's Ingram missing. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Here's Slim. There's the drive. Missed inside. Pelicans trail by seven. In the corner, Daniels. Down low. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Zion Williamson's checked in for New Orleans. Valanciunas comes in for Larry Nance. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Hawkins. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Slim comes in for Reddish. Lakers trail by three. Underneath, in the post, it's Williamson and Valanciunas. C.J. McCollum out there with Daniel. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. And just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Now here's Williamson. And Williamson throws it down. And there's that athleticism we talked about with Zion. What a dunk. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, guys, Slim in the last outing against Minnesota was a man determined. He ended up with 43 points, and his passing was incredible with all of those assists. This is what they rely on from him and why he's one of the best in the league. I'm sure he's looking to repeat a performance tonight. Yeah, David, he was in attack mode all night long. GA really propelled them to that win. When he's on, he is on. And there isn't all that much you can do to stop him. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Slim passes to Wood. Lakers in the ball around now. Here's Slim. The shot. No good. Good D by McCollum. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. And here's Valanciunas coming in off a 10-point game his last outing. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Daniels. Slim passes to Vanderbilt. Kicks it out to James. James, a screen on McCollum. Back to James. And the dunk by James. A monster down low. LeBron James, the rare package of skill, size, and athleticism. Here is Daniels, defended by Vincent. Wood against Valanciunas, and there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And it's never too early to start looking at our contenders for this year's dunk contest. There's no doubt it'll be a terrific showdown with some of the game's best athletes. And it seems like each year the bar keeps getting set higher. I mean, more props, crazier concepts to the competition, the level of dunks. I think this is going to be a good one. 
Well, you look at Williamson sitting at the top of the heap. Looks like he'll be planning on an appearance at the dunk contest this year. Yeah, and I'm not surprised with his athleticism. This guy has got the goods, no doubt about it. The hops are incredible. But we'll just have to see what sort of creativity he can apply. And so that's the breakdown as it currently stands. We'll be keeping you all updated with the latest info and, of course, our final list of contestants as we get closer. Yeah, and if they don't invite me to be a judge, I, I'm still going. Outside, Jones. McCollum outside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And just so good off the bounce. C.J. McCollum is as frustrating to cover as anyone. Yeah, but it's also, Greg, one of the players in the league that we appreciate the most because of the footwork, because of the fundamentals, maybe a little bit undersized. He finds ways to get it done with efficiency and effectiveness. Here is Slim, and it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Zion Williamson. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Third in shooting percentage, and he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And it's a strong accomplishment. Third best in field goal percentage. He just refuses to take bad shots. That's why his coaches love him. Slim. And it's Ingram with the rebound. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yep, it counts. Not worried about taking that hit. Jones powering through. Shoots from 14. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. He kicks it to Valanciunas. To the middle and slam dunk by Ingram. Terrific feed from Valanciunas, the big man scanning the deck. Looking at the last game for the Lakers, it was a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Yeah, they came into that game a little flat for whatever reason and just couldn't tap into the energy you need to compete. Yeah, and that score got a little bit lopsided, so not the kind of effort that they want to repeat anytime soon. Here's Valanciunas after the made shot from Slim. Right there has been some talk of having overtime play to a target score. Can you make the case for that? I mean, yeah. I mean, more certainty on how long the broadcast will go, right, Kevin? And protecting players from the heavy minute loads that can result from those games that go into multiple overtimes. So I, I, I like that idea. Trey Murphy's checked in for Zion Williamson. Hachimura, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his first foul. Here is Slim. He is guarded by McCollum. Davis with a screen on McCollum. Six to shoot. Slim, good. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big time rejection. Now Ingram. 20 points for him last game against Utah. Shoots from 12. Good on the jump shot. Ingram's got eight points. Oh, man, this would be a different ball game if they didn't have this type of scoring to rely on. Davis with a screen on McCollum. He takes it in. Swim, no good. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. They get it again. Lakers trail by nine. Reeves the pass to Slim. Vanderbilt a screen on Jones. Outside, Davis. Just five to shoot. Davis. Davis on the follow. 12 points for him. And Davis just 
eating up the boards on the inside and went right back up with it. Pelicans leading by seven. Jones looking for an opening. Out to Ingram. Back to Jones. From deep. Swim pulls it in. Swim's got his fourth rebound in this one. Driving in. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And again, New Orleans has no luck. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. That's just an outstanding pick and roll there to get Davis diving to the rim. Once he gets the pass, the shot was as simple as it gets. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Their next game playing at home as the Nets come into town. And that game concludes a five-game homestand. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for it. Lakers trail by seven. Hachimura the pass to Slim. A minute 50 left in the first half. And it's Davis missing. New Orleans gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just 2 of 6 from long range. To the inside, Vanderbilt with the rebound. The Lakers shooting at 51%, really so. Shooting foul as the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It goes on C.J. McCullough. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pelicans. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. Ingram. Swim pulls it in. Swim's got five rebounds tonight. 109 left here in the second. To the middle. Here's Vanderbilt. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Clearly foul. The Lakers have been yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Harry Nance has checked in for the Pelicans. Pelicans leading by four. Outside, Jones dishes it to Valanciunas. Here's Ingram. He's guarded closer. That's his sixth field goal today. And that makes him now six for 11. And Ingram and that body and that maturation showing off in plays just like that. Slam good. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Here's Ingram. After the made shot from Slam. The pass to Jones. Back to Ingram. Let's the free fly, and Jones gets it to go in on the assist from Ingram. Jones has got five points in the quarter. Shot and game clock separated by five. Davis with a screen on Jones. Yep, it goes in, and the Pelican lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Slim. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Jones with it. Eight points his last outing. Pass to Ingram. Back to Jones. One second left. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. A resourceful move there, ending the period on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. And so we conclude the first half. Pelicans on top. They're up by seven. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. Hello, folks. The first half is in the books, and we've got a lead on the scoreboard for the New Orleans Pelicans. Their work that went into roster construction in the offseason, it's showing tonight. That bitch is cooking. So that's what I smell. I thought maybe Shaq had taken his shoes off.
All right, and now let's talk about that point guard duel we've seen so far in the first half. You look at this matchup at the point guard position, so much talent in this position in the league. You've got your work cut out for you every single night, Ernie. The skill game taking center stage. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. Slim having a dominant impact in this game. Something has kicked him into gear tonight as he has done work on the offensive end. I think he's enjoying it too. So rare to have an offensive explosion from him. You know his teammates are loving that as well. So the Lakers... Oh, James flashes in the alley-oop. LeBron gets behind the eyes of the defense for the highlight reel jam. New Orleans leading by five. Home outside. Inside. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Reeves. Defended by Jones. Reeves the pass to Slim. LeBron with a screen on McCollum. Here's Slim. Some solid defense from Ingram. And so it's New Orleans with it. They've led by as much as 10. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Oldham. David. Thank you, Kevin. Zion Williamson is, of course, unique athletically. His teammate C.J. McCollum says, I don't know if we'll ever see somebody with that strength, power, speed, and jumping ability. At times, the Pelicans' offensive game plan becomes simple, McCollum said. Get the ball to Z and get the heck out of the way. Kevin, I'm paraphrasing. I know you are. <laughs> I picked up on that, David. Thank you. <laughs> Brandon Ingram, Tiny Dog, is what they called him when he first got into the NBA, Brent. And he has become a very loud bark. What a play. Yeah, Kevin, a lot of talk about him having to jump around in the shower to get wet. But he has put on the weight and become ferocious on the offensive end. This guy does not back down, and he's worked hard to fill out that frame. And not wasting any time here, kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. Here's McCollum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. A moment to check out who the New Orleans Pelicans have coming up. On Tuesday, they'll face off against Ben Simmons and the Brooklyn Nets. And then on Wednesday, they'll take on Carl Anthony Towns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And for that matchup with the Clippers, it's going to be a battle for this group. You get the feeling they'll need to be at their sharpest if they want to come away with a victory. It's the second from the line. And C.J. McCollum just relied upon for the incredible leadership qualities he possesses. And that kind of respect comes right away when C.J. steps into the locker room. Here is Slim. He's got 29 points. Down low. New Orleans in the lead. Now here's Ingram. To the paint. Here's Talon Chumis, and the Pelicans miss again. A struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up, he can just chalk this up as one of those nights. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. And he comes up with the deuce. I know C.J. plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great find. Williamson dishes to Jones. Ingram against LeBron. Shoots from the line. And the rejection by James. Pass to Slim. Pass to James. Vanderbilt with the screen. Slim passes to Davis. Vanderbilt kicks to James. Four on the shot clock. Over Ingram. Poke loose. 
The Pelicans have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Here's Slim. Good D by McCollum. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New Orleans. The lead is two. Ingram dishes to Valanciunas. McCollum outside. And Davis sends it back. What an impactful defensive presence. AD is outstanding at coming up with blocks. Slim passes to Vanderbilt. Buries the long-range jumper. Vanderbilt's got six points. Guys, what a back-and-forth game this has been. And that's already resulted in seven lead changes. Here's Ingram. He's got 14. Here's the pass to Williamson. Back to Ingram for three. And again, no good by New Orleans. And it's the Lakers ball. They're on a 14-6 run. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. I like this throwback approach they're taking, looking to score high percentage shots in the paint. And so far, it's working. Well, looking at the stat sheet, I could just see here tonight sharing the basketball. The stat that comes up most is assists. So sometimes you have to look for your teammate. That makes things happen. They've done it. Trey Murphy's checked in for New Orleans. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. Here's Valanciunas. They grab their own miss. Ingram wide open. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Here's Slim. The kick out to LeBron. Pass to Slim. Six on the shot clock. Davis with a screen on Ingram. And it goes down two points. 35 points for Slim. I just think that's trouble. You're going you're gonna to let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it. Make the adjustment. Checked in for Jones. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Vincent's checked in. Here is Daniels. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Slim passes to Vanderbilt. Here is Slim. Feeds it to Davis. Lakers passing it around. Here's Slim. Rebounded by Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. To the inside, Williamson. And finished off by Williamson. Yeah, looks like Zion's got the stage all to himself there, just tearing down the rim. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Pelicans trail by five. And here's Daniels. Pass to Valanciunas. Ingram attacking. And it's been a tough game for him offensively. His touch has left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Slim passes to Davis. Here's Vincent. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. And now an eight-point Laker lead. A uh, great vision by Davis showing off those point guard skills from back in high school. Alan Junis sets a screen for Ingram. Passes to Alan Junis. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. A rebound by the Lakers. They've led by as many as 11 points. He's been off the mark, and that hasn't helped them chip away at the lead. It's been a theme here this quarter. Now Ingram. He's got 14. Looking to get it going. 
Ingram can't get that one to fall. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Here is Slim. 37 points for him. Uh, still a force, LeBron looking ageless on that one. Although they're down big right now, Greg, still plenty of time left in this one. At this point, they got to take it one possession at a time. Now here's Ingram, and he's back in business as a jumper finally drops for him. Ingram's got four this quarter. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Here is Slim, and he's going up for the alley-oop. And the dunk by Vanderbilt. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Daniels with it. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Vanderbilt the pass to Slim. The kick out to LeBron. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And we've got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Jonas Valanciunas. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. Shoots the three. It's good from long range. He's got nine. Quick trigger from Trey Murphy. This dude can let it fly. And when Zion Williamson Brent is on the floor, he's one of the best players in the NBA. Yeah, Kevin, but we got to keep him on the floor. That's the way that not only Zion's going to improve, but this is the way this team has a pathway to the playoffs. Good. Davis has got 16. <laughs> Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Ingram passes to Valanciunas. Williamson up top. Vanderbilt defending. Williamson kicks to Daniels. The pass to Ingram. Shot clock at six. Valanciunas sets a screen for Ingram. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. And so for the Pelicans, Cody Zeller's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. And Larry Nance is subbed in for Williamson. Hachimura, he's checked in for Los Angeles. And so it's New Orleans with it. Nine-point game. Here's Vincent. He's covered by Ingram. Two minutes Slam. Good. Slim's got 39. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Ingram outside. Zeller setting the pick for Ingram. Stolen. Now the Lakers on the break. The three. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. One nineteen left to play in the third. Hit by Zeller. Shot to stop the run. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Daniels has got three assists in the game. Davis, the pass to Slim. Sweet move. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Cody Zell. The Lakers have shot the ball well from the free throw line. Eight of nine. He's perfect from the line this time. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Zeller setting the pick for Ingram. Five to shoot. Hachimura grabs the miss. Lakers leading by 14. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here is Slim. He's covered by Ingram. He 
Lobs up the alley -oop pass. Ingram with the steal. Trying to break that ice cold streak. Pass to Slim. It could go. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. Trailing to start the quarter, they battled hard and pulled off a tremendous comeback. Now enjoying the lead right back after this break. this game to become competitive. And so it's Williamson who brings up the ball for the Pelicans. They trail by 14. We've got Nance. Zion Williamson is out there with Trey Murphy. Then it's Lewis and it's Marshall in at the shooting guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Lakers looking the ball around now. Slim passes to Vincent. Davis with a screen on Lewis. Slim. Good. The Pelicans shooting well. They're at 45%. Passes it to Marshall. Lewis sets the pick for Marshall. Back to Lewis. A fadeaway. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Vanderbilt's got six rebounds in the game. Here's the floater. Slim. Good. Slim's got 45 points. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. The drive by Williamson. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. I feel like Zion with that quickness. Guys are just not ready for that first step. Floats it up for Williamson. Down low, and Davis with the basket on the assist by LeBron. And the Lakers lead by 15. Now the pass to Williamson. Nance a screen. Williamson with it, picked up by Davis. And foul on the shot, he'll shoot two at the free throw line. The defender is trying to get aggressive because when Larry Nance Jr. gets into that. Los Angeles calls timeout. Los Angeles calls And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. It's stolen by Nance. And pushing it up. Here's New Orleans. A three from McCollum. Hachimura grabs the miss. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. They get it back. Slim passes to Wood. Here is Slim. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That free throw good from Slim. All free throws good from Slim. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. McCollum kicks to Nance. That's in. Coming off the assist from McCollum. McCollum's got his third assist on the night. To the middle, Marshall with the steal. And now here comes Marshall, leading the break. A good look for McCollum. Again, the Pelicans score. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, 
it accentuates his ability and confidence to score from the outside as well. Nance comes with the double team. Here's Wood. The shot, no good. Nance with some nice D. And here's McCullen for three. Traps in the tray. McCullen's got 27 points. I feel like the team right now is accepting the fact that C.J. McCollum is on fire, so they're looking for him on possessions in the half court. Here he goes. Slim. Good. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Here's McCollum. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got 29 points. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Knocks it loose. And it's the Lakers on the break. LeBron steps it home. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. To Williamson. Driving the lane. Kicks it out to McCollum. They double team McCollum. Nance with no one around. The Lakers with the rebound. Slim's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow. What a game. Williamson outside. And Williamson throws it down. And some pinball action out there as defenders just bouncing off of Williamson on that one. Yet another bucket. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. A three from McCollum. That ball, great assist by Marshall. Marshall's got three assists in the game. And so it's the Lakers with it. They led by as many as 18 points. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. That game marks the start of a five-game homestand, the longest of the season. Wow, wow, he got whacked. Oh, man, there shouldn't be much debate there. Jonas Valanciunas, who's checked in for the Pelicans. Brandon Ingram comes in for McCollum, and then for Los Angeles. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Christian Wood, and Vanderbilt subbed in for Reddish. Ingram dishes to Marshall. And slam dunk by Ingram. Well, he's just so long, able to get to that rim pretty quick. Has to Slim. And that one drops for him. Slim's got 57 points. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Passes it to Marshall. Back to Ingram. And slam dunk by Ingram. Right now, Brandon Ingram is just taking command of the entire game. Lakers leading by 12. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the whistle blows, and it's going to be an over-the-back call here. Well, he thought he could slip by there and, and grab the board, but got too much body and gets called for going over the back. Well, he plays super active on the glass, so calls like this are to be expected. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Jones comes in for Najee Marshall. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Trey Murphy. And it's Ingram missing. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge win. Hawkins checked in for New Orleans. Brent, aren't even you amazed at the size of coaching staffs and all the support people these individual teams have now? Yeah, some of the teams really go way out there with regards to almost a one-to-one -one ratio, Kevin, between player and coach. I just wonder sometimes if there's ideas that get shared, if they get convoluted with that many people. But if you're a player, man, the resources are there. And the Lakers with possession here. Leading by 12. Slim passes to Davis. Davis with a screen on Hawkins. Takes it inside. Slim. Good. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. 
Williamson the screen. The steal. Pass break. The Lakers throws it up high. Yeah, they are demoralized now, guys. A careless play to turn it over and then slow getting back on defense. Pelicans trail by 16. Outside, Jones kicks it to Valanciunas. The dish to Williamson. Uh, hard not to be overzealous when you're defending Zion. First free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Lakers leading by 14. Here is Slim. In the corner, Vanderbilt with it. LeBron outside. Here is Slim. He's covered by Ingram. Puts the move on. Connects again. Make that 61 points. Yep, everything is going his way right now. And here's Hawkins. The pass to Ingram. And Slim picks up the foul. That's his fifth foul. That's a tough call, but he has to be better in avoiding contact on that play. That's his fifth foul. And one more. It'll be hitting the showers. Ingram. And the shooting percentage, it's taken a dip in the second half. And a miss there off the inbound. And they've controlled the boards, and that's a big reason why they're controlling the lead. Slim passes to James. Ingram with it. Now guarded by Slim. Here's Hawkins. Rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Pass to Slim. Trying to find Davis. He's got it now. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Alan Junis is Pelicans. Trail by 16. Pass to Ingram. Hawkins is screen on James. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. And the Pelicans miss again. He's not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. And he makes that one. He's been an absolute marksman the entire second half. Hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. Here's Williamson. A stupendous finish in traffic. Williamson's got 10 points here in the second half. Well, Zion is no stranger to guys being around him. He's used to going through them, and he does it there. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. James, a screen on Hawkins. Here's Slim. Up and in on the layup. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, looking for a miracle worker out there is the opposing coaching staff. I don't know that they have one. This game seems to be well in hand. Ingram passes to Hawkins. So it's the Lakers taking care of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.